my name is Dion. Welcome to the first episode of Humble Baking. Today we're going to be cooking red velvet cupcakes. A co-worker reached out, wanted me to do her some red velvet cupcakes. So we're going to get in here and get those ready. Okay, so these are the ingredients I have uh, laid out. It takes two eggs, uh, one and a half cup of sugar, it takes um, one and a half cups of canola oil, a tablespoon of um, red food coloring, a half a teaspoon of vinegar, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Also, you're going to need one cup of buttermilk, and this is two and a half cups of sifted flour, and a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of cocoa. So, the first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> beat up the eggs and the sugar so egg, and you want everything at room temperature you guys so I'm going to go ahead and pour my sugar and go ahead and put my eggs in all right and I love to use like a KitchenAid stand mixer I've gotten kind of spoiled I don't like to do hand mixes anymore so we're gonna let that beat for a while Okay, so we're going to slow this down and then we're going to have to put in this mixture with the canola oil, the red food color and the vinegar and the vanilla. Okay, so, and when you're adding ingredients y'all, you want to go put your KitchenAid slow speed as possible because you will get splattered. Okay, so right now I'm going to just dump this in slowly. Cause like I said, you will get splattered. And I see, I had that on the lowest setting. It is still like it's gonna come over the edges. So, we're gonna put that in there like so. All right, so I'm gonna let that mix up. And then we're gonna start putting our adding our flour mixture with um, the baking powder, baking soda. So again, it's on low. So I'm just gonna be dumping. And we're gonna rotate the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients, but we're always gonna end on the dry ingredients, you guys. All right. And they're slowly coming together. And you know what, y'all? Red velvet cake is easy, like one of the most easiest cakes to make. And I really started baking, I probably was like 15 or 16, and I wanted red velvet is my favorite cake, first of all. And I couldn't find nobody, like I knew no one to bake for me. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this thing myself. And that's how I got started in the kitchen baking. All right, and that, you guys, was my timer I had. I'm at my preheat, preheat my oven to 350. Um, now I'm gonna add about half of the buttermilk into this and let it just go uh, get mixed and add everything slow, you guys. Slow and steady. I've learned from experience. All right, so that's about half of the buttermilk mixture. All right, so I'm gonna finish adding I'm gonna do about one more little spoon of this and then I'm gonna add the rest of my buttermilk and then I'll finish with the last little bit of the dry ingredients. Like I said, always in on the dry. Okay, so we're finishing adding this buttermilk. Alright, so all that's added in and all we got is a little bit of Alright, 
so all right so we're gonna let this mix probably another 10 seconds or so and we're done like I said we do not want to over wilt our mixture okay you guys The table. Also, I'm gonna get my little mini spatula that I'm doing. It's so useful. Also, you guys, I want to tell you about this little handy dandy cupcake measurer. Um, it's put out by Wilton, and this is like for a regular size cupcake. It's just good so you won't overfill the cupcake liner. And they also, this came in a set of two. They also have if you want to make like mini cupcakes or anything mini, this will be the measurement measurement you would use. I've never actually had to use this because I make all my stuff in regular size right now. But I just wanted to give you guys that little tip. So we're going to start. Let me move my batter over here. And I'll start. And I'm not sure because this is like a full red velvet cake recipe. Not sure how many cupcakes. It'll make, I'll start out lining like 20 slots, so we'll just see. And if I have to add more, I will. All right, so. Definitely, the rest of these can be filled up. Definitely. I should have just used a, a red velvet cupcake recipe, and I want to have cupcakes in excess. So that's four more. I'm gonna see how we're looking after we do those four. Alright you guys, we're back. Uh, the timer just went off, so we're going to check and see if these cupcakes are done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set me out a toothpick, because that's what I like to test to make sure everything's done. You know, the old toothpick trick, so here we go. Let's see. I'm going to up my glasses, y'all. Oh, hopefully these are done. So we won't have to. Oh, okay. So those are done, and I'm gonna check these. I mean, they both should be done. I mean, I put them in at the same time, but I like to check one out of each. Um, okay. Yeah. So I'm not gonna turn my oven off now because I have probably five or six more to put in. And then the cooling racks I have here, um, this is what the cupcakes are going to go on in a few minutes, y'all. And uh, let those cool and then I'll put this last five or six on. But we'll be back shortly after this and I'll show y'all the cupcakes on the cooling rack and I'll um, begin to put the rest of the batter in the line. All right, welcome back you guys. Um, as you can see, my cupcakes, I have them out here on the cooling rack and they are cool. So now we're gonna work on making the red velvet ice. So over here in the mixing bowl, I'll show you all, I already have my margarine and my cream cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that to beating. All right, so we're gonna mix that up really good. Turn 
it up high so it can get and go ahead and do what it needs to do. So I'm just trying to get all I can off of the beater here. And that looks that looks good enough. So we pull the beater down, put it there. Okay, so we have a decent amount of icing here, you guys, and I'm going to start to pipe these cupcakes. Okay, welcome back you guys. So, what I've done while I was gone, I went ahead and put the cupcakes where they're going to be. Um, I find it easier to go ahead and put them in their little slots, whether it be like a little cupcake tray like this or whether you're making them for somebody. So, when you get them decorated, get it done, they're already in its containers. So, what I'm going to do right now, I am going to uh, fill my piping bag with ice. And I already um, have cut and put the tip in that I want. So I'm going to start to fill these piping bags. Okay, you guys, so I will be back with, uh, I'll let y'all see how they end up looking, okay? So, we'll be back shortly. Alright, welcome back, my YouTube family. I just wanted to come and show you all the finished product of these Red Velvet Cupcakes. You can get a close-up view of them. Like I said, I'm not a professional piper, but I did what I could. And, you know, pipe practice makes perfect. But, just want to show you all start to finish. Those are how my Red Velvet Cupcakes come out came out so you guys if you have any suggestions any kind of tips or tricks please let me know in the comment box